Hello, and welcome to our lesson on rotating objects on a grid. To rotate an object on a grid, we need three things. This is a direction, an amount of turn, and center. When you perform this yourself, you're also going to need tracing paper. Okay, so we're going to rotate object A. This, uh, this is object A. When we have completed the rotation, we will have an image. So we begin with an object. We perform our rotation and we have an image. We're going to rotate object A. So there's your direction about the center negative one and zero. So we're going to begin by placing tracing paper over the object. And now I'm going to mark the center, which is negative one and zero. And this will be our pivot point. And now I'm going to put a point on each of the vertices of our object. And next I'm going to mark a 90 degree angle at our center. So the rotation is complete when we've moved 90 degrees and I rotate the tracing paper about the center 90 degrees anti-clockwise and all I do now is recreate the object using the vertices and now we have our image which I'm going to label B. For question B, rotate the object A 180 degrees. There's our amount of turn. Here's our center. But you see we don't have a direction. Well, because if we are facing this way and we turn 180 degrees, we'll be facing this way. And it doesn't matter which way we turn the 180 degrees, we will still be facing the same way. So now I'm going to reposition the tracing paper, mark off at the center, and I'm going to make a point on each of the vertices of the object. I'm going to create the vertical line, and the rotation is complete when I've rotated from here to here, with this bit at the center. So now I will rotate the tracing paper, 180 degrees. I'm just going to tighten it up a little bit. And you can see I can just recreate the object to form the image which I'm going to label C. Okay, let's try the next question. Okay, for question C, you're going to rotate object A. 90 degrees anti-clockwise for center one zero and label the image D by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, to begin with, I'm going to need a tracing paper. Okay, so I'm going to mark off the center at one zero. I will put a point on each of the vertices and it is 90 degrees anti-clockwise, I'm going to mark off 90 degrees. And the rotation is complete when I've moved from around to here. And now I'm going to rotate the tracing paper from the center. And I can recreate the object by tracing the points and I can label the new image D. Do you want to try the final question by rotating object A 180 degrees clockwise about zero and two? Okay, so I'm going to mark off the center, put a point on each vertex in the object. I'm going to draw a straight line for the 180 degree rotation and I'm going clockwise, which is in this direction and now I rotate the tracing paper 
about the center. And I can recreate the object into the final image, which I'm going to label E. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.